Hello, this is Ray from DCRainmaker.com. Um, today we're looking at the Apple Watch with respect to heart rate and how that works. Um, so you just saw the screen just went away there, so I'll go ahead and turn it back on by just tapping this button. Um, what I've got here is a heart rate screen. It's measuring my heart rate optically from a sensor on the bottom of the watch, and I'll show you it afterwards, but right now um, I don't want to take it off, otherwise it'll be kind of complex to get back onto that screen again um, and the amount of time the video takes. And it's going to measure my heart rate. Now, what happens is normally the Apple Watch will measure your heart rate every 10 minutes uh, when it's just in resting mode. So you can see this here on the, the uh, app. Um, it's recording this to the Apple Health uh, repository within your iPhone itself. Um, so right now my heart rate is actively at 69 beats per minute. Um, a minute ago it was at 73. And now if I go and I tap on this, I can get in more detail. Um, and so I can see you know, the heart rate graph over the day, but I can actually go down and go show all data. Um, and I can look at my heart rate over the course of the last, uh, well, as much history as I have. So every 10 minutes you'll see 44, 34, 24, 14, 04, et cetera. Um, and it just kind of plots that every 10 minutes. It's a little different than some of the other optical heart rate monitors that do continuous tracking. For example, the Fitbit Charge HR uh, or the Fitbit Surge. They're tracking continuously um, and they're recording that data here on the screen anyways to about every minute. Um, so it's, you know, you're basically looking at 10 times um, less data with the Apple Watch as opposed to the Fitbit lineup. Um, now, what's interesting here is that if you look back to yesterday, I'm going to go to the second here, and I'm going to look at uh, roughly midday or so. Um, so we started a bike ride um, around uh, 9.30, give or take. Uh, so in this case, I would have expected to see that my heart rate was higher, um, and I'm really not. So I had the watch just in a application mode, Strava in that case. Now, Strava can't take advantage of the optical heart rate sensor on the unit itself. Um, it can only do that uh, natively within the app. So I have to use the app Apple app, Apple app um, to see my heart rate during cycling or running or things like that. Uh, perhaps down the road, that, road that'll change, but for now that's not the case. Um, nonetheless, I would have expected that during this time frame here, I would have seen a higher heart rate, and I didn't. Um, if you look at these heart rates, they're all fairly low uh, in the 60s and 80s. Um, the day before and the first, uh, if I look at that from roughly 11 a.m. Um, until this afternoon, I would expect to see higher heart rates, and I don't. Again, I see 65, 55, 40, 74. Um, this is a three hour and 40 minute bike ride, including some pretty strenuous climbs. Uh, my heart rate should have been on this entire stretch, somewhere between 140 and uh, 170, depending on the, the portion of the ride. Um, and my other heart rate monitor, another optical sensor, the Skosh Rhythm Plus, uh, did indeed show that. So I'm not really seeing the accuracy I would have thought for this heart rate data behind the scenes. Um, now you are seeing some skips here. So if you look, for example, I go from 118 to almost three o'clock. Um, and the same here from 1118 to uh, 120. And I wouldn't have expected that. Um, so it looks like if it can't find the heart rate, it's just simply not writing it down at all, um, which is kind of a bummer as well. Um, nonetheless, that's just a quick look at how heart rate works. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so you can see the optical sensor below it. And now in this case, you can't get the LEDs um, to enumerate without it being on your wrist, so you won't really be able to see that. Um, but you can see this is where the optical sensor works, and what it does is essentially two lights shine down, and then there's another sensor that picks up that light inside your wrist and looks at the blood flow, and then from there it can determine your heart rate. Um, very, very similar to how other optical heart rate sensors I've worked for the last few years. Apple is by no means uh, the first in this game, and at this point, it's certainly not the leader either. Um, there are other units that tend to work a bit better, um, starting off with primarily the Mio um, and the Valencell um, units, uh, so like the Skosh Rhythm Plus and the Mio products that includes also, for example, the TomTom Tom Cardio, the Adidas uh, Smart Run GPS, uh, and then on the Fitbit lineup, that tends to work fairly well for day-to-day -day activity. Not so much workouts, but um, the other you know, 23 hours of the day. So there you go, it's just a quick look at heart rate and how it works. Um, stay tuned as I put more videos out on different sport and fitness uh, portions of the Apple Watch. Thanks for watching.